Hey everyone, and welcome to another hemp tip. Today we'll be discussing mosaic viruses, what it looks like, and what to do if you suspect your plants are affected. There are a number of mosaic viruses that have been reported to affect hemp plants with reports of alfalfa, cucumber, tomato, and tobacco mosaic viruses being some of the possible strains that can do so. So today we'll cover what a mosaic virus is, what it can look like, how to contract it, and how to prevent it from spreading. Mosaic viruses get its name because it creates a two-tone pattern on your plant leaves that damages it. And unlike a nutrient deficiency, which follows a predictable pattern and location, either spreading from the bottom up or from the top down, the patterns caused by a mosaic virus is much more random in terms of what it looks like on the leaves and which leaves it affects. Mosaic viruses can transfer from physical contact and can also easily transfer through anything that touches an affected plant and then a healthy plant, such as bugs, tools, soil, and of course, human hands. Mosaic viruses also can survive after the plant has been harvested and dried. So it can even transfer from a blunt or a cigarette filled with plant material that have the virus to a healthy plant. Of course, a mosaic virus, and all plant viruses for that matter, isn't harmful to humans. But since it can transfer from dried plant material to a healthy plant, the first thing you can do to help prevent mosaic virus from affecting your plants is to smoke in a different location as your plants and to wash your hands afterwards. And to build on top of that, General cleanliness of your grow space will also prevent mosaic viruses from reaching your plants. And this includes keeping a clean grow space to prevent pests from accessing your plants, as well as cleaning and disinfecting your growing tools after use. Mosaic viruses can also transfer from parent to seed or clone. And I have a personal story to share about my experiences with mosaic viruses from a seed. So I obtained an autoflower seed that I grew out to convert into a hermaphrodite that can self-pollinate. Since I wanted to make a batch of feminized autoflower seeds for future grows. And while the plant was still young, one of the early leaves had some mosaic patterns on it, which I ignored since it was only on one leaf and looked like it could have been a number of things. Here's a closer look at the pattern when I sprayed the plant with colloidal silver to convert it into a hermaphrodite. And as the plant grew, a couple more leaves here and there also displayed some light mosaic patterns, but these were few and far in between, so I just chalked it up to it being a side effect of the daily colloidal silver spray. Now I harvested a ton of seeds from this plant and fast forward to growing one of the seeds that the plant produced. And here you can see what it looks like when the virus is present in the seed from the start with a ton of early leaves showing the mosaic pattern. And after a couple of test grows with this batch of seeds, it looks like about 50% of the seeds produce plants that visually show the mosaic virus early on in the leaves, while the other half showed no signs of any mosaic patterns. If your plants have the mosaic virus, there's no way to cure it. But I did allow this plant to continue growing just to see the effects of a mosaic virus on the plant's entire life cycle. And here's what it looks like near the end. Overall, while it 
did appear to possibly slow the growth of the plant since the leaves went damaged, definitely can't optimize the photosynthesis process. But the plant was never in danger of dying and still yielded a good amount by the end of the grow cycle. So if you're only growing a batch of plants now and then, it's not necessary to scrap a plant affected by mosaic virus as long as you quarantine that plant so that it doesn't come in contact with any other plant. And that once the grow is done, to clean the grow space, disinfect all the tools, and remove any dead plant material. Again, it's safe to consume plants affected with mosaic virus, but if you're growing a new plant, just be sure to wash your hands after touching any dried plant material from an affected plant. Of course, if you're growing a ton of plants, or if your grow space is perpetually being used multiple times a year, it's probably best to dispose of any plants that appear to be affected by a mosaic virus just to be safe, since it's not worth risking multiple generations of plants catching it. And that's it. Like the content? Then be sure to check out our beginner's guide to creating CBD products from scratch. Available at Amazon in print and digital with links in the description below. You can also find us at hempinapot.com.